Yes. Okay, welcome to the kitchen with me. So I really like to cook. Um, a couple years ago, I did not know how to cook because there's too many options in the grocery store for me to figure out which option was the best for me. But now I have grown an appreciation for cooking and fall is coming up. So let's make chicken noodle soup. It's super easy. We basically take all these ingredients, throw them in a pot. I like when we leave the chicken and the broth in for a four and a half hour boil because after two and a half hours, you're boiled, but you don't have all the flavors at three hours. You have flavor, but at four hours, you have a lot of flavor. So let's do it. I start off by peeling celery, peeling carrots, get your butter. Everybody loves butter. And we're gonna stick that in the pot. Then, I just cut this garlic. You can never have too much garlic, especially when it's fallout and people are getting sick and you need to bring the germs. Garlic is your friend. So because you're gonna leave this in for a couple hours, I kind of leave the garlic whole. You can mince them, you can chop them up. But I like whole garlic. Nice. Next, we will take an onion. Let's just move some things over so you can see my amazing onion. We're gonna use the whole thing. And again, when we cut this, I'm gonna cut this into smaller pieces because this is gonna be one of those edible things. So I'm not sure if you guys know, but whenever you cut something, you wanna like bend your nails. Where's my cut? Okay. You wanna go like this, and then you're gonna bend it. So in case the knife, the knife blade gets you, it's only gonna get your knuckles. It won't get your nails or your fingertips. Nice. Also, I don't know if you guys know, if you take a wet paper cloth, and put it next to your cut onion, you won't cry. I don't know why that works, but that's the secret. It just absorbs all of that onion -y. Okay, beautiful. We will throw this all in the pot. And we're gonna turn the pot on medium heat since it'll take a little bit to get hot. So butter will burn if you leave it by itself. By adding olive oil, it doesn't burn. So you've got like a nice combo of flavorful butter and olive oil in there. And then I'm gonna add more garlics because you cannot go wrong.
see what I do. I smash it, it opens it up, making it so much easier to go in the pot. Perfect. So, up next is carrots and onions. I just wash my hands. I do that a, a lot when I cook. Just to keep everything clean. All right. Perfect. Perfect. With my carrots, I dice them really fine. So they're like quarters. because you can never have too much carrot and celery. And these are the hardest vegetables, so we're gonna put them in first. Beautiful. I use a wooden spoon. And we really want to wait until those become clear. And then we are going to continue adding all the goods. on my list. Two stalks celery, three bundles of rosemary, thyme, salt, pepper, one big yellow onion, one chicken, three carrots, and as many garlic cloves as you feel are necessary for you. So this is perfect. We're going in. Celery. If you guys stick this in water, it'll grow more celery for you. Celery growth. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, it smells so good. Okay. We've got the knife. We've got some compost. I want to just show you what this looks like. Yes, beautiful ratio. 
So, that's that. 